Hospitals were told to keep enough ventilators for coronavirus patients, but new observations have pointed some doctors in a different direction. 7 News reporter Sophia Radeball explains how one hospital here in the upstate is seeing COVID-19 treatments evolve. Well, healthcare workers at Prisma Health have settled into the COVID-19 era, but staying on top of the most up-to-date information is a constant adjustment. Healthcare workers have been dealing with the COVID pandemic for months, and Dr. Sicosio, the department chair of family medicine and ambulatory chief medical officer at Prisma Health, has seen it up close. We've had coronavirus patients ever since mid-March, as we saw across the country, cases roll out. But the treatment trends that were practiced in March are starting to change. What we've learned over time is that now we're a little bit more hesitant to start a ventilator. And because we've learned across the country what's working well, that's something that has changed over the last several weeks. Now the hospital is learning about drug therapies. The antiviral drug remdesivir has been studied at Prisma, and now they're using hydroxychloroquine a drug used for prevention of malaria and treatment of other autoimmune diseases. We have used hydroxychloroquine and based on the recent recommendations, they're indicating that using within clinical trials is really important. And there's several reasons for that. One of which is the risk for cardiac or heart arrhythmias. And after President Trump announced this week that he was taking hydroxychloroquine to lessen symptoms should he get the virus, Dr. Sicosio wants people to know this. We do not use hydroxychloroquine for prevention of COVID-19. I mean, we haven't seen any studies tell us that that can be helpful for our patients. And she says the treatments will only continue to evolve. As the country is reopening, Dr. Sicosio wants to remind people that it's okay to leave an area if you feel like social distancing is not occurring. Remove yourself from the situation, but respect those who have different comfort levels. In Greenville, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News. And if you want to look at how healthcare workers have improved COVID treatments over the course of the last few months and the new thing that they're learning, we've got a full story on WSPA.com. Emory researchers say that they've 